okay, I'm gonna make an adjustment with my ball position with the driver. I'm hitting the ball good, 265, 270, 274 yards, okay? So I'm not complaining about it, but I'm, you know, but I'm not getting that crush contact that I normally get. So I'm getting this distance just by creating more width, which is creating more club head speed, okay? But I wanna crush it out there. So I'm gonna bring the ball back in my stance about one ball position. And I think because I'm getting more width, I think that my low point um, has moved back just a little bit. So I'm just gonna make a couple adjustments with the ball position and see if I can get that full crush with the driver. We got it, baby. Right there. That ball flight was more penetrating. The kind of ball flight that I normally have. A nice penetrating ball flight. And it stayed the line. I took it right down the right hand line. And um it smoked it right down there. Like I said, this hole is 371 yards. And um, so I'm looking to be right around the 100 yard marker or somewhere around there, just with the distance I've been hitting the ball today. You know, I mean, I've been averaging 265, two, I can see it right now. It's right next to the 100 yard marker. So that's a 270 yard drive, you know, and not even playing new balls or nothing and haven't even got my sequence timed in yet. Big difference, you know, right there at the 100 yard marker. So take that all day long and then look at this shot they gonna give me I have to go up over this tree if I want to get to the pin the, the, um, the pin the pin is right there over that tree wow okay so I'm gonna take um I was gonna take a pitching wedge but to my eye this hole looks a little bit closer to me um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack this hole with the um, the gap wedge We're not going to complain about that. I caught all of that ball, and this was like the distance for me, 110, 100 yards. And um, I didn't take it over the tree, though. I took it right over the left edge of it. If I would have took it over the tree like I had planned on doing, you know what? I'll be sitting right there for a nice tap in the But we're not going to complain. Look at the sky. It's getting dark. It's a great storm out here. Wow. I just didn't want to throw away such a good drive and I you know and it really wasn't no um reason to try to attack the pin over that tree so I think my common sense prevailed and I took the shot the perfect shot where I got a nice little putt at it for birdie again I'm taking the flag out because they have this flag uh, wrapped in some material and it's causing it to rebound off the ball. another par. Oh, Calamity Jane staying in the bag, folks. It just knocked out my bullseye putter. Okay, folks, so I have some clients that are not comfortable playing from a closed position. And like I tell everybody, I teach golf. I don't teach a method. So here's a little adjustment for you people like that, and it really works well. I played golf like this for months at a time. Just visualize Lee Trevino. His target side is going to be open. 
but he's still gonna come from a shallow inside the out swing path, okay? So you're still gonna feel yourself coming from inside, and that's gonna be the swing path drills that I give you. And when you call me and we, you contact me and you contract with me, and I'll get your swing path in con and, and back up this par, you'll be able to play from close, open, neutral, and everything, because we're gonna build a golf swing. We're not building a golf method. So on this one right here, I'm gonna have an open target side hit, but I'm still gonna come from a shallow inside the swing path and still have a lot of control and a lot of compression. shot is so powerful I don't even know why I'm gonna tell you the truth I um I don't know why I go away from it at times because I can play some really tremendous powerful golf with that um, slightly open position because I'm still inside the out because I have totally grooved and improved my swing path so hey if you want to contact me and you want to improve your golf game we're not gonna build a golf method. We're gonna build a golf swing. And your golf swing is gonna be personal to you just like your DNA is personal to you. That's the one thing that I guarantee. I guarantee it without a shadow of a doubt. And that swing right there is a powerful swing. And I'm telling you, don't be surprised if you don't find yourself getting some extra yardage just because the way you compress in the ball. You know, normally I would take an um, eight iron on that club right there. It was right at 150, 152. And I actually got a nine iron there and flew it over the pin. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this 